Technology experts are calling it the Exaflood, a massive wave of new video and other bandwidth intensive traffic is headed for the web. Forecasts say internet users will generate 161 exabytes of new electronic data this year alone. A single exabyte includes so much data that if it were converted to DVD quality video, it would take more than 50,000 years to watch. And internet users are now generating nearly half an exabyte of new data every day. At the current rate of growth, in the year 2010, 20 typical U.S. households will use as much internet capacity as the entire world did in 1995. It is predicted that 80% of that traffic would be generated by online video. Some experts believe this could overwhelm existing network capacity and bring the flow of world internet traffic to a crawl. But where did this exaflood come from? And what are internet providers doing to get ready? The number of internet users worldwide has grown at a staggering rate, from only 48 million in 1996 to more than a billion users today. And with six and a half million new users connecting every month, the trend is unlikely to slow. Tens of billions of new cell phones, PDAs, cameras, home appliances, cars and machinery will connect to the internet by the next decade. As the number of internet and networked devices grows, demand for more advanced applications and smarter networks also increases. Internet users of 1996 could only access data limited to text and small image files. As internet content has advanced to utilize more complex images, animation, and video, the internet has demanded more robust and intelligent networks capable of handling greater amounts of data. Today, a new wave of higher definition web video presents the most significant technological challenge the internet has ever faced. A viewer watching a single HD movie over the internet consumes as much bandwidth as a web surfer who loads 35,000 web pages. And the shift to internet video isn't happening gradually. YouTube didn't exist in January of 2005. Today, its users download more than 100 million videos every day. Other businesses are taking note. Walmart, Netflix, and Amazon have developed models to sell movies in HD video over the internet. This explosion of new technology, devices, and content, when combined with a massive increase in the number of internet users, are the driving forces behind the exaflood. The internet is comprised of more than 200,000 interconnected networks, most privately built and operated by internet providers such as AT&T, Verizon, Global Crossing, and Level 3 Communications. These providers are working to boost fiber speeds and deployment in backbone, edge, and access networks. And they routinely make large investments to upgrade their internet backbone capacity. The Telecommunications Industry Association estimates that annual spending on network infrastructure upgrades will reach $72.5 billion a year by 2009. And providers are constantly deploying innovations to make networks smarter and better at managing the demands of time-sensitive data while improving network security. However, they will face other challenges as well. Preparing for the exaflood will cost hundreds of billions of dollars over the coming years. The combination of continued investment and wise public policy will keep prices affordable for consumers enable innovative services, and allow internet providers to upgrade broadband networks to meet the challenge of the coming exaflood. This will ensure that all Americans can access everything the internet has to offer. But without internet upgrades, Americans may not be able to enjoy new products and services that rely on higher data speeds. The impending exaflood of data is cause for excitement if America is prepared for it. <laughs>